My name is Madison. Um, I'm a member of Audacity 22, which is the student music club that co-hosts this uh, monthly library music hour at the New York Library. Uh, I'm also a member of the California Youth Chinese Symphony, CYCS, which is where I learned to play this type of traditional Chinese music instrument called the Shem, S-H-E-N-G. Uh, today I invited some other members from the CYCS Senior Orchestra to play a Shem and percussion festival for you. Uh, Jada King and Jada will be performing the Shem with me. Uh, Jada has been playing Shem at CYCS for seven years and Kelly and I for six years. We also have Sophie Chan, who has been a percussionist at CYCS for six years. Uh, Sophie is also a member and the lead singer of the Audacity 22 band. Uh, before we start the performance, uh, let me give you a quick introduction about the show. So first, um, what is it? It's one of the oldest music instruments originating in China, with the first um, recorded evidence of the show from around 1100 BC. It belongs to the family of green reed woodwind instruments where the sound is produced by vibration of the reed in a resonant chamber um, at the base. Historians think that the shem spread from China to East Asia during China's Bay Dynasty and Tang Dynasty, and then to Europe around the 17th century, where it became the initial inspiration for other reed instruments such as the organ, accordion, and harmonica. Because the instrument has been around for such a long time, uh, there are many different versions of the shem. So the version that we're using today has 36 pipes, each corresponding with a different note. Um, each pipe has a round hole in the side uh, that can be covered or uncovered using a key. And pressing down on the key to uncover the hole allows you to play that note. Each pipe also has a reed on the bottom extending into the metal base, which is a resonance chamber you can blow into through a mouth. So to play the instrument, you breathe into the mouthpiece and then block the holes on the pipes to produce different notes by causing the reed to vibrate. Um, a unique thing about playing the shang is that you can make sound with both uh, inhaling and exhaling, unlike instruments such as the flute, where you can only blow air into the instrument to make noise. Also, the shang is a polyphonic movement, meaning its keys can be pressed individually or in combination, so you can play multiple melodies or chords on the shang. Um, next, we'll talk about its range and musical expression. So as an ancient instrument, shem has a surprisingly wide range, with the lowest pitch being G3, and the highest um, pitch being F sharp 6. Um, and as mentioned earlier, with the shem, one player can play vibrant chords like on a piano, so it can be suitable for many different genres of music, um, and with rich musical expression. So today we are actually going to play a popular Western music piece, the Spanish Bullfight Dance, with this ancient Eastern instrument with thousands of years of history. We hope you enjoy the performance. 